Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna to share with you how I get my wigs together from start to finish, featuring this TLW11 360 wig from, well, African. And you can see why it's called 360 because all the way around, honey, is parting space and very stretchy caps and combs and adjustable straps and wonderful wonderfulness. It is the most comfortable cap that I've ever worn and I really, really do prefer these from African. They can be worn glueless. So this is the hairline straight out of the package. Not a single pluck have I done. I'm gonna do that all on camera for you guys, but I just want to show you guys the density of the hairline, which can be very thick. Um, to customize, you want to thin out the hairline. You want to make it so that it frames your face and it complements your face. So um, I get tired of plucking. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take three or four strands at a time and gently yank them out. Now you don't want to grab a lot of hair because you don't want to make um, holes in your lace. So be mindful, go slow. This footage is sped up. I've done this a bunch of times before, so I'm used to it. But this is a really good way to kind of create a hairline without putting it on the wig mannequin because I notice sometimes that when I pluck my wigs um, on a mannequin and I put it on my hair, it just doesn't look as natural. So I'm starting in small sections. I do use my tweezer to clean up a couple of areas if I want to thin out an area in particular. But for the most part, I customize this wig just using my fingers and pulling the hair. So. Sometimes I add a little water to the hairline so I could see how believable it is and how much more plucking I need to do. Because my hairline is all over the place, I use this little white pencil to try to mark where I'm gonna put the glue. I don't wanna put the glue too far down on my forehead because then it gets in the baby hairs and it becomes just a big old sticky mess. So after I go ahead and I plan my wig, I'm gonna go ahead and beat this face and I will meet up with you back at the end of this video. Bye.
filming with my window outside and I feel like it's like the birds from that movie. What is that dude's name? Alfred Hitchcock? Can you hear that? It's like 800 birds outside my window right now. You know what? Okay, so we're all done. And I'm about done with this curling iron. You know, I had this curling iron forever. I just went and got me a brand new flat iron. I got a Babyless Pro and it is beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous. And I feel like I need to get a matching curling iron because the curling iron that I have is so lame. This is what she looks like. Try to add a little bit of lift up here in the front. Oh my gosh. So, I debated about whether or not, the reason why I decided to do a voiceover in the beginning of the video is because I have the windows open because it's a beautiful day. And even though this morning was really rainy and gloomy and glummy and it was like really cold right now, it's perfect. It's so weird. I don't know what's happening. I'm all gonna die. I feel like talking to you guys because I love this hair and I love how it came out. And I tried to curl this bit, but you know what? Like I said, I'm getting another, it's off. All right. I don't know what happened. I guess when you keep hair appliances for 20 billion years, they die. You served me well, curling iron. Thank you so much. Anyway, about this hair, like you saw in the beginning of the video, it is a 360 lace wig. The density is like 180%, okay? You see how much I had to pluck to make it look a little bit more, more customizable to my face? That is definitely what you want to do because the way my hairline is shaped like Batman, it's like straight and then it comes down and then it goes like straight up like I got my dad's forehead. Uh, so I had to customize it to cover certain situations up so it looked a lot better. This is the TLW11. The color is natural and it's super, super silky straight. So you're gonna need a higher heat. I wouldn't go above 400 though because you wanna keep your hair looking nice and shiny and healthy. Definitely shampoo and definitely condition and deep treatment your hair and use a heat protective. I did this time, but if you're going higher than 400, I definitely would recommend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of my color foundation. This is CoverGirl Queen Flawless Finish. Ooh. No, no, it's not CoverGirl Queen. This is from a CoverGirl Queen uh, pressed powder, but this is Nika K. And I got that from the Beauty Supply store. So anyway, I just tap it into my hairline. That'll get rid of any kind of um, shininess. There we go, that's it. This is how it falls on me. Again, I am short, I'm 5'4". I guess I'm not that short. And that is it, girl. This hair is lovely. I'm feeling springy today. I don't know, the pink, I feel effervescent, I feel light. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And all the information about what I slapped on my face and this hair is gonna be in the description box below. And I will talk to you guys later.